Every dragonfly gliding gracefully above the surface of a pond carries a story that does not begin in the air, but instead starts deep within the water. Like an inverted fairy tale, dragonflies spend most of their lives not in the beautiful, winged form we know, but as underwater creatures that are almost unknown to the casual observer. It all begins with eggs so small they are barely visible. Female dragonflies usually lay their eggs directly in the water or on the surface of aquatic plants. Some species even insert their eggs into the soft tissue of plant stems. Depending on the species and the water's environmental conditions, a single female can lay anywhere from hundreds to thousands of eggs. These eggs, only fractions of a millimeter long and oval in shape, will hatch after a few days, weeks, or even months, depending on the water temperature and the dragonfly species. From those tiny eggs emerge strange, alien-like creatures called nymphs. They have no wings, lack the bright colors of adult dragonflies, and instead possess sturdy bodies and large jaws. Their world is hidden beneath the water's surface, and it is here that the true life of a dragonfly begins. Not as a nimble dancer in the air, but as a lethal predator in a silent realm. If the adult dragonfly is the ruler of the skies, then the dragonfly nymph is the undisputed master of the underwater micro world. Nothing is truly safe in its presence, not mosquito larvae, not water insects, and not even small fish. All can become a meal for the nymph. Though far from elegant in appearance, nymphs are remarkably effective hunters. Their bodies, either flattened or cylindrical, are equipped with a unique jaw structure known as the labia, a kind of extendable arm that can shoot forward with lightning speed to seize prey. This strike is both swift and precise, giving their victims almost no chance to escape. In addition to their deadly hunting tool, dragonfly nymphs are masters of camouflage. Their body colors often match the substrate of the pond or riverbed, blending into brown mud, the green of decaying leaves, or the gray of pebbles. Hidden in this disguise, the nymph will wait motionless like a stone until an unsuspecting prey passes by, then unleash its labium in a fraction of a second, gripping the victim with small but razor-sharp hooks. The combination of speed, accuracy and stealth makes them nearly impossible to evade beyond their hunting prowess. Nymphs possess a highly unique respiratory system. They do not use external gills like fish, but instead possess internal gills located within the rectum. Through these gills, they draw water into their bodies, extract oxygen via the gill surfaces inside the rectal chamber, and then expel the water back out. This mechanism not only allows them to breathe, but also enables rapid movement. By forcefully expelling water backward like a miniature rocket, the nymph can propel itself forward to leap great distances, whether to escape danger or to strike at prey. The nymph stage of a dragonfly's life can last an exceptionally long time, surprisingly long for such a small insect. Depending on the species, dragonfly nymphs can live underwater for anywhere from six months to five years. During this period, they grow through numerous molts, shedding their exoskeletons many times. With each molt, they become larger, their jaws stronger, and their hunting abilities even deadlier. Yet despite growing stronger, life beneath the surface is still fraught with danger. Nymphs must compete with other predators, survive in water that may dry up, endure pollution, and avoid becoming prey themselves to larger fish or insect-eating birds. In other words, not every nymph will make it to adulthood. For those that do survive, however, their greatest adventure still lies ahead, in the skies. The dragonfly's life cycle follows a pattern 
known as incomplete metamorphosis. This means they do not pass through a pupil stage like butterflies. Instead, they transform directly from egg to nymph, and then from nymph to adult dragonfly. While this transformation may seem simple, it is in fact a remarkable biological journey filled with challenges and wonders. On the right day, when temperature, humidity, and light conditions are just right, a fully developed nymph will climb up the stem of a plant or a rock at the water's edge. They cling tightly, and then their bodies begin to swell. Soon, their hard outer skin starts to crack. From these fissures emerges a new form, with large bulging eyes, a swollen thorax, and delicate wings unfolding like damp paper. As each wing unfurls from the body that has just emerged from its nymph stage, the adult dragonfly stands at the threshold of two worlds, leaving behind its life as a creature of the water and embracing its new role as a master of the skies. With bodies still wet and fragile, they are not yet ready to fly. But within a few hours, sometimes only minutes, they will transform into some of the most skilled aerial hunters nature has ever known. Adult dragonflies have slender, aerodynamic bodies, seemingly designed for speed and agility. They possess two pairs of wings that can move independently, allowing them to fly forward, backward, sideways, and even hover in place like a helicopter. They can stop suddenly in midair and then dart in a completely different direction in an instant. Their wings are also equipped with a special structure called the nodus, which absorbs vibrations and keeps the wings stable while flapping. Under a microscope, the dragonfly's wing surface appears like an intricate crystal mosaic, laced with veins and tiny chambers that reinforce the structure without adding extra weight. With their two pairs of independently moving wings, they can generate lift and thrust that enable sharp, precise maneuvers in the air. Some species have even been recorded flying at speeds between 55 and 60 kilometers, making them among the fastest insects in the world. Yet dragonflies are not only fast, they are incredibly precise. When targeting prey, they can calculate their flight path with predictive accuracy and strike from an unexpected angle. They can stop abruptly, hover in the air, and then shoot forward like an arrow, all in just a matter of milliseconds. Remarkably, they almost always succeed. The hunting success rate of a dragonfly reaches an astonishing 95%, making it one of the highest in the entire animal kingdom. Yet it is not only their wings that are extraordinary, a dragonfly's eyes are among the most complex visual systems in the animal world. They possess compound eyes made up of 30,000 to 50,000 omatidia, individual visual units that allow them to detect even the slightest movement. With a nearly 360 degree field of vision, dragonflies can spot prey from virtually any direction without turning their heads. They see the world as a complete sphere, a vision unique to their kind. Dragonflies also have an advanced ability to perceive color. They can see into the ultraviolet spectrum, invisible to humans, and distinguish between colors that may look identical to us, but differ in wavelength. This makes them exceptionally efficient at identifying prey, predators, and potential mates. Their respiratory system is also built for speed. Instead of lungs, they use a network of tiny tubes called tracheae, which deliver oxygen directly to their body tissues. This system allows for a fast and efficient oxygen supply to support their energy demanding flight style. They are equipped with incredibly responsive muscles and nerves. Their reaction time to surrounding movement is about 30 milliseconds, much faster than a human's. This is why catching a dragonfly is so difficult. They are always one step ahead of the human hand. Beneath their elegance 
and transparent beauty, dragonflies are high-performance machines. A perfect combination of wings, vision, agility, and an impressive respiratory system. These traits make them one of the most effective predators in the wild. Their prey ranges from tiny flies and mosquitoes to winged ants, butterflies, and even smaller dragonflies. They attack using their front legs like a net, snatching prey mid-air and devouring it instantly, without landing. There is no drama, no wasted energy. Everything is swift, calculated and undeniably ruthless. But the life of a dragonfly is not only about speed and hunting, because they are also complex social creatures, especially when it comes to territory. Male dragonflies are highly territorial, selecting a prime area, usually near a water source, where females come to lay their eggs and defending it fiercely against rival males. Clashes between males can be intense, filled with aerial maneuvers and sometimes ending in injury or even death. But this is the price to pay for securing a mate and passing on one's genes. When mating season arrives, the sky becomes a stage for a mesmerizing dance. The love story of a dragonfly is a delicate balance of strategy, strength and beauty. It is not merely mating, it is a calculated effort to ensure the success of the next generation. As with many creatures, it is the male who makes the grand effort. First, he will approach the female as she flies or rests on a leaf. A subtle courtship without excessive displays. If the female accepts, the male will grasp the back of her head with special claspers at the tip of his abdomen. This is known as the tandem formation, where the pair flies together, spinning in the air like one body with two minds. The female then curves her abdomen toward the male's thorax to connect with his secondary genitalia. This is the actual mating position, known as the wheel position, where their bodies form a heart or circular shape. It is here that fertilization takes place, along with something far more strategic, sperm manipulation. Male dragonflies possess an extraordinary ability to remove rival sperm from the female's body before fertilizing her. Using specialized structures at the tip of the abdomen, he can clear her reproductive tract to ensure that only his sperm will fertilize the eggs. After mating, the female will begin to lay her eggs, sometimes in, still held in the male's grasp, a strategy meant to prevent other males from mating with her. When alone, the female lowers the tip of her abdomen to touch the water or aquatic plants, laying her eggs one by one until the count reaches the hundreds. But there is a bittersweet truth to this cycle. For many dragonflies, adulthood is fleeting, lasting only a few weeks to two months. Some species live just a handful of days in their winged form. This means their long years as nymphs serve a single purpose, to grant them one brief chance in the air, to fly, to hunt, and to mate. For a dragonfly, death often comes without warning. Wings begin to fray, muscles weaken, and predators wait in the shadows of leaves. Yet their end is never in vain. The eggs they leave behind will hatch into nymphs, continuing the cycle once more, a living legacy in the shape of a circle that never stops turning. Dragonflies are not merely beautiful hunters of the air. Knowingly or not, they are invisible guardians of many freshwater ecosystems. Their role as insect population controllers, environmental health indicators, and vital links in the food chain makes them one of nature's pillars of balance. First, dragonflies are natural pest controllers. They prey on mosquitoes from the moment they are nymphs to their adult stage. Nymphs hunt mosquito larvae in the water, while adults snatch mature mosquitoes mid-flight. In a single day, a dragonfly can consume hundreds of mosquitoes or other small insects. Without them, mosquito populations could explode. And with that surge, 
the risk of diseases like dengue, malaria, or Zika would rise dramatically. More than that, dragonflies are highly sensitive biological indicators. Because they spend most of their lives underwater, they can only survive in clean, unpolluted environments. Unpolluted. This means that a decline in dragonfly populations in any given area can serve as an early warning sign, an indication that the water is becoming polluted or that the ecosystem is under stress. Researchers often use the presence of dragonflies as a biological parameter to assess water quality in rivers, wetlands, and lakes. On the other hand, dragonflies also serve as a food source for many other creatures. Small birds, large spiders, frogs, and even predatory fish include them in their diet. In other words, dragonflies occupy a middle position in the food chain, keeping the balance between small insect populations and larger predators. Another unique role is that some dragonflies contribute to flower pollination. While they are not as effective as bees or butterflies, certain species inadvertently carry pollen when they perch on flowers. This seemingly minor contribution still holds meaning in the highly complex tropical ecosystem. Even in agriculture, dragonflies can be allies. In rice paddies or fields near lakes and ponds, they help reduce populations of plant hoppers, aphids, and other sap-sucking pests. This role becomes even more valuable as we face global environmental degradation. The presence of dragonflies signals that nature is still breathing, that the water can still sustain life, and the sky can still be a stage for these winged dancers. Unfortunately, dragonfly life is never free from threats. Despite being skilled hunters and essential for ecosystems, they are also vulnerable prey but stay. Both to nature and to human actions. In the wild, their dangers are many. As eggs, they may be eaten by tadpoles, small fish, or other aquatic insects. As nymphs, they face predatory fish, larger dragonflies, insect-eating birds, and water spiders. As adults, they must watch for insectivorous birds, large web-building spiders, night-hunting bats, and even quick-striking frogs. Yet the most deadly threat does not come from nature. It comes from the most destructive species of all, humans. Water pollution is a silent killer for dragonfly eggs and nymphs. Factory waste, household detergents, agricultural pesticides, and sediment from deforestation turn their aquatic homes into uninhabitable places. Even slight changes in pH or a drop in oxygen levels can wipe out an entire generation in a single pond. Climate change plays a major role as well. Rising temperatures disrupt water cycles. Ponds dry out faster. Rainfall becomes unpredictable. And breeding seasons are thrown into disarray. In some regions, shifting seasons cause dragonflies to emerge too early before their prey is abundant, leading to a sharp increase in mortality rates. This is further compounded by the permanent destruction of wetland habitats. Ponds, marshes, and small rivers that serve as breeding grounds are being cleared for settlements, plantations, or industrial zones. Without stable aquatic habitats, their life cycle can be broken. And when that cycle breaks, we lose not just a beautiful winged insect, but also a crucial regulator of local ecosystems. Ironically, even though dragonflies help humans control mosquitoes and pests, humans are often the ones unknowingly driving them away. The modern world, with all its technology, seems to have forgotten that nature's balance is built by small creatures that never demand payment, only a little space to survive. 